Hi everyone, welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to do a makeup tutorial of this look that I'm wearing. Now this look is very festive and I've created this really smoky, purpley um, sort of eyes and I paired it up with this really bright pink lipstick um, which is really matte and nice. I got this new lipstick from Faces and it's called Hot Wired. I really like this color and before I start with the makeup tutorial I wanted to wish all of y'all a very happy Diwali. I hope you have an amazing and prosperous Diwali. I wish you and all of your friends and family and I hope this Diwali brings a lot of joy and happiness to everyone's life. Just make sure that you are safe and everyone around you is safe and Let's make this Diwali a um, festival of light instead of like a festival of too much sounds um, because we know how it affects animals and dogs so if you have pets take care of them make sure they are safe and just try to make it a little bit less um polluting and more prosperous um if you know what i mean so yeah that's all that i wanted to say i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and let's get started with it so a lot of you requested that I do a tutorial on the hairstyle that I was wearing in my Navratri slash Durga Puja tutorial. So this is how I did it. I parted my hair in the center and took out two thin sections and I'm just twisting them around each other while taking in more hair from each side. So I'm going to do the exact same thing on both the sides and I'm just going to secure the twisted braid using bobby pins. Then I'm going to go ahead and secure my earrings into the braid. I'm going to apply primer onto my face first and this primer is from Miss Claire and I'm just going to take like a coin sized amount and spread that all over my face and I'm also going to apply it onto my eyes as well. For my base, I'm going to use MAX Studio Fix Foundation in NC42 and I'm going to add in the Miss Claire Skin Illuminator base and I'm going to mix both of them and spread that all over my face using my fingers first and then I'm going to take in this buffing brush and blend that all over my face using downwards motion. I'm going to conceal underneath my eyes using Revlon's Color Stay Concealer in the shade Medium and I'm applying that in the shape of a triangle underneath my eyes and I'm also taking a little bit onto my forehead, on my chin, a little bit on my cupid's bow and I'm going to blend all of that in using the same buffing brush. Then I'm going to set all of my base using the Chanel Compact Powder and I'm just going to take in a little bit and tap that all over my face. And I'm going to apply the Honey Bronzer by Body Shop and I'm going to apply that onto the hollows of my cheeks and I'm just going to do like a downwards motion starting from where my earlobes start. And I'm also going to take in whatever's left in the brush onto my temples and I'm going to repeat the same thing on the other side. And I'm also going to take in a little bit of the bronzer onto my jawline. For my cheeks, I'm going to use the Sivana palette. I'm going to take the pink shades first and apply that onto my cheekbones. And I'm going to use like swirling motion so that it's applied really nicely on my cheeks. Then I'm going to use the lightest shade onto a fan brush and highlight the high points of my face that is my cheekbones, my nose, a little bit onto my forehead and also on my chin and Cupid's bow once again. Now I'm going to take the color Tease from the Naked 2 palette and I'm going to use that to fill in my eyebrows using this angled brush from Real Techniques and I'm just going to fill in the sparse areas. 
and then I'm going to just blend all of the eyeshadow in using a spoolie. I'm going to start off with this golden eyeshadow from Maybelline. It's called Bold Gold from their color Tattoo range and I'm going to apply that onto the inner half of my eyelids. Then I'm going to take this purple shade again from the color Tattoo range and I'm going to apply that all over my eyelids starting from the outer half and just leaving out the space where we applied the golden eyeshadow. I'm taking a blending brush and blending all of the purple eyeshadow and the golden eyeshadow together so that there are no harsh edges. Now I'm going to take this darkest shade from my Stella Masterpiece palette and I'm going to use that to blend all of the eyeshadows onto the outer corner. Now I'm going to take in the Honey Bronzer once again and apply that just as a transition color to blend the darker eyeshadows. Now I'm going to take this light shade from Stella called Kitten and apply that onto my inner corners and also a little bit underneath my eyebrows. And I'm going to take this purple eyeliner from a color bar and I'm applying that onto my waterline and I'm also going to extend it outwards to create this winged liner and then I'm going to connect this wing onto my upper lash line as well. I'm going in as close to the lash line as possible and then just smudging it all in. Now I'm going to curl my lashes and I'm going to apply the Benefits They Are Real Mascara all over my upper and lower lash line. Now I'm going to add in my bindi. This is a really pretty purple bindi that I found in my mom's stash. And for my lips, I'm going to use this new uh, lip crayons from Faces. And this one is in the shade called Hot Wired. It's a really nice matte pink color. It's really bright. And this one also lasts like really long. We're almost done with the look. I'm just adding in my mang tiki. So yeah, this is the finished look. So this is what I'm wearing. I'm wearing this Kagra Choli sort of thing, but I'm wearing it as a sari. And this is how it looks. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing Diwali once again. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And please subscribe to my channel. That would mean a lot to me. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.